Nice. To the beat. Like it. He's having his bath. Oh, really? Where are they hosing him down? They're both man-child. I should have... <laughs> I forgot. All right, Speck. All right, Speck. All right, Speck. Put Dottie back on. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody welcome to the channel i'm angel this little cutie is boo boo philip j fry this is going to be a super quick intro today but if you want a longer one and learn more about me and what i'm doing here watching movies with all of you be sure to check out another video but for now we're just going to jump right into the movie which is peewee's big adventure from 1985 and thank you so much for being here I don't know much about this movie at all, except that it was recommended by you guys on YouTube and by a top tier patron. So I'm looking forward to it. And I know it has Paul Rubens, who plays Pee Wee Herman. And I know a little bit about Pee Wee Herman because I've seen a few clips of him over the years just growing up. I just know he's kind of like a goofy guy and supposed to be kind of like a kind hearted spirit, I believe. So I'm looking forward to it. The main thing I even knew about Pee Wee Herman growing up, or even re the reference from him, was actually from the movie Overboard. Uh, in the movie, one of the kids, he goes, I'm Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> so I used to do that all the time when I was little because I watched Overboard all the time. So that's all I knew about Pee Wee Herman was the, what that kid did. So that's why I knew how he talked. But I'm excited to see what this movie's about. And we're just going to get right into Pee Wee's Big Adventure from 1985. If you ever want to see the full length, be sure to check it out. It's available on um, Patreon. And thank you so much to my top tier space patrons. You guys are the best. Thanks for the support and for the recommendation. Let's get going into the movie. Danny Elfman. Comp composed the music? I did not know that. Robert, directed by... I'm so happy I looked up. <laughs> I was going to say the name Robert Shapiro or Shapiro. Shapiro looked familiar. And then Tim Burton. Did not know he directed this movie. That's pretty cool. If somebody told me, I'm sorry. Tour de France. I love unexpected beginnings. He's actually racing? Oh, I thought he was just like going by him. Look at his face. <laughs> he's dream he's gonna be dreaming. Okay. Cause this is definitely not what they do to winners something. Wouldn't that be neat? Look at that. Did that happen when he turned off his alarm? I always want, I always like invented stuff when I was little. I love that. <laughs> he has a bunch of great toys. Oh my gosh. I want to live in his house. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Come on, let's get some breakfast. Come on. Who did you see? Isn't he cute? Or she? I don't know. If it's... <laughs> so this is the kind of thing. What are the what are the name? What is the name for him? You guys can tell me immediately. I know it's sad. I don't know. We don't learn it. I've learned it. But um, I always try to do things like that in my house. <clears throat> Not to this extent, of course, but just little things. Like, and I just always was inventing stuff. I never let my mom throw anything away because I wanted it. I cannot believe. 
<laughs> I want the Sorry, Boo, I saw fish. His toothbrush! <laughs> this is this is great. How many Oh my gosh, wait! What's so big? If I'd have seen this when I was a kid, oh my gosh. I would have been trying to make everything in the kitchen that he did. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. So like, it's not perfect. There's so many things to comment on. <laughs> that I'm liking. I pity the poor fool. Don't eat my cereal. I pity the poor fool. Don't eat my cereal. <laughs> He's just a man kid. He's the original Buddy the Elf. <laughs> He really is. Cause he's like an adult. But I like cool like um things that are like normal but they're hey, different, mom. like invention. That's so neat anyway. His house is very cool. I'll leave it at that. That's not I leave it at that. It's like dusty outside. What? <laughs> Hi, good morning, Pee-wee. Aw. Okay. Oh good, his neighbor's nice. I used to pretend my lunchbox had a secret code you had to open it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Good morning. Oh, no wonder he was dreaming that dream at the beginning. He's a pretty... Cool bike. Does it have a lion on the front? Aww. Oh my gosh, it's really cool. I really want that bike. I didn't even see the back of it. You're the best bike in the whole world. I think it is the best bike in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> He's not annoying at all. I had no idea from the few clips I've seen if how he was gonna be, to be honest. Like I knew he's supposed to be a kind spirited like person and kind of goofy, but which I loved, but from the few clips I'd seen I didn't I knew it could go either way with him. <laughs> Little Francis. My birthday and my father said I can have anything I want. So guess what I want? <clears throat> a new brain. Your bike. <laughs> Why would that kid say that? Kid, I mean. <laughs> says everything's negotiable. Wouldn't sell my bike for all the money in the world. Not for a hundred billion million trillion dollars. Then you're crazy. I know you are, but what am I? 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 Why don't you make me? Why don't you make me? Because I don't make monkeys. I just train them. <laughs> he ended that well. Gosh. This part, them... Uh, I know you are, but what am I? Uh, that was cringe. You'll be sorry, Pee-wee Herman. But I love how Pee-wee handled it. He owned it. I used to do no hands. I used to stand on top of mine, but not with the no hands. Wait. <laughs> nice. 
Piwi. <laughs> I like his suit. Oh, that was it with those kids? He just wanted to... <laughs> oh, people... <laughs> That's like a bike. It's a bike story. <laughs> There's like bikes everywhere. <laughs> Please be careful. I meant to do that. <laughs> I don't want to go back to his house. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> um, is he attempting it to the clown? Surely not. Somebody could just take the clown. I don't know if it's attached to the ground. That is so much chain, though. <laughs> Sweet. I haven't been to a magic shop since 2012. My good friend Pee Wee. Hi, Mario. I wanted to stock up on some supplies. Help yourself. Fine. How do you like school, Billy? Mm -mm. I wouldn't want to own one, but I like when other people do it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Angel. I was like, I'm not going to laugh at that. I got some new items you might be interested in. That's pretty impressive. How do you do that? You improve squirting flower. Shrunken head? No. That's kind of cool. Regular size. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No! <laughs> Light glasses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coming red. Hey, bow ties are cool. Hi, guys. What's she doing to it? Can't really talk about it. You know, James Bond kind of stuff. Nice. <laughs> Is my horn ready yet? Yeah, it's ready. Should be loud enough for you now. Well, where is it? Let's hear it. What's it gonna sound like? I wanna know if you'll do something. What? I wanna know she if like you'll him? go someplace. Aww. Like where? Pee wee. Be nice. Daddy, I like you. Like. I like you. <laughs> A lot of things about me you don't know anything about that whoa oh my gosh you couldn't understand <laughs> things you shouldn't understand jeez i'm a loner daddy a rebel so long dad <laughs> your space <laughs> They didn't take the clout, they just buy their chains on the <gasps> Yeah. Somebody took all that time to cut those. I go Rama. I love the colors. <sighs> Poor guy. That was a really cool bike. And wait, is that it? Oh. Oh, it's just all he's like seeing it. So I wonder if it's that one um, person, Francis. Normally bad with names, but he stood out. <laughs> oh, he's just seeing bikes everywhere. Poor guy. Literally everybody. <laughs> the music. Oh yeah, Danny Elfman did it too. So it's just like, it's so dramatic. That's a really cool shot. What exactly leads you to believe the Soviets were involved? Well, I... I... <laughs> it's 19... 1985. Anyone who might have wanted to take it? This morning, right before it got stolen, Francis offered... Francis!
Jeez. The grass is like so everywhere. It like extends from the, I mean, to the ivy. <laughs> nice, to the beat, like it. He's having his bath. Oh, really? Where are they hosing him down? They're both man-child. I should have. <laughs> oh! <laughs> His bath. It's like a pool. What would I do with that? I really, I can have anybody in the world. Aha! You don't want it anymore because you already have it. Tell me where it is before I lose patience with you, Francis. I wonder if he didn't take it. Look how giant! I didn't even see how giant the... I love when things are too, way out of proportion, like too big. It reminds me of the um, world in Super Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> no! Okay. I didn't want them to hit each other and get hurt. <laughs> You stole my bike, you liar! And I'm really sorry. Jeez, Pee-wee, you're kind of sinister. I'm really sorry. Are you? I'm sorry, Francis. Here, would you care for some gum? Oh, no. gonna pay a reward like that huh it's simple whoever returns the bike is obviously the person who stole it so <laughs> they don't deserve any reward <laughs> crazy i kind of i like it <laughs> he went from like goofy to crazy he just won't let up i changed my mind i don't want the stupid bike anymore yep he did lifting it for you did okay so it's as simple as it seems uh, oh. oh i hope that dog had the best life in the world Evidence. Exhibit A, a photograph of the victims, my bike, and me. Uh, Jimmy, what is this? Uh, Too late, Chip. Uh, looks like a pen. Exactly. I bought this pen one hour before my bike was stolen. Why? What's the significance? I don't know. Oh <laughs> God. Exhibit Q. Oh. Model of the entire mall. Come on, Pee Wee. How are they gonna? You need to find your bike. For over three hours now. Oh my I gosh. Supposed to mean. Supposed to mean. <laughs> I think everyone here knows what this is supposed to mean. Like I have. Certain questions get answered, others spring up. Oh my gosh! It's like you're unraveling a big cable knit sweater that someone keeps knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting! Yeah, he's lost it. It's hot in here. Hot? Who's hot? I think I know her voice. Don't need anybody! I've seen her in something. I'll try to think of it. Pee-wee, you do need friends. You need to chill out, man. He's panicking and he's flipping out, actually. <laughs> he's fleeing he flipped. Hey, man, you're new to this turf. We don't take kindly to strangers coming around here. Oh, I wouldn't mess with Pee-wee right now.
Uh... Is she the voice from X-Men, the animated series? Um... Rogue? Wait, not Rogue. Tell me why I'm here first. You... want something. No, Pee-wee! See a oh my bicycle. Gosh. Yes! Is it okay? It's okay. It's okay. Now she knows it's lost and everything. Oh my gosh. Somewhere else. Somewhere far away. Maybe she'll accidentally help him. Come on. The Alamo. Alamo. Oh my gosh. It's gonna end up being there. It's gonna end up being there somehow. He's gonna go and like thank her at the end and be like, You're the best in the world. The Alamo. Texas. Texas! He just made a sign that says Texas. <laughs> that looks so weird. Aww. Why? Why? Why did he stop so quick? Why? Ugh, I don't know. That's just why. <laughs> Name's Mickey. I'm Pee Wee. Okay, Mickey. What's your deal? Maybe nothing. You don't know. He just stopped so quickly. Morelli is armed and dangerous. He is uh, forget the music. Well. That I answered that question. <laughs> What'd you do? Those little do not remove under the penalty of law labels they put on mattresses. Well, I cut one of them off. Gee. I got a real bad temper. <laughs> <laughs> Really, what he did is that really what he's supposed to have done? That's when I decided to take the law into my own hands. The law. <laughs> the law. The law! Wait! I got an idea! What? For an escaped convict, ma'am. We heard all about it on the radio. Right, honey? Some sort of problem? No problem at all. I just wanted to take a quick look at that cute little outfit you have on. <laughs> Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice day. I'm so glad Pee Wee said that to him. <laughs> He was thinking, this guy's a creep. <laughs> he's thinking, and he's thinking, this guy's awesome. And not that guy. Pee-wee was thinking the cop was a creep. Pee-wee obviously like, likes this guy. It was just fun. <sighs> I am learning not to assume I know who Pee-wee is. Like, he's surprising me. <laughs> Oh my gosh! gosh what? what is he driving in the um the NES game Super Sprint? Which is such I loved that game. Ah! 
Out! But... Out! Out! <laughs> That's why I can't drag you into this. Wait! What, what? I could have forgot something else. <laughs> Spooky out here. What? Are those head like glasses. Oh, cool. That's right. Yes. <laughs> ideas <laughs> there are some parts that are a little slow in the movie but then there are parts like that that come that really make up for it i don't know what to expect thanks for stopping <laughs> some night huh on this very night 10 years ago <laughs> what? I saw the worst accident I ever seen. What is wrong with her? <laughs> Anybody that gets in, she just starts telling the story. <laughs> Look at his face. Burning wreck. It looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think she would have scared me as a kid. It's good and make it teaches kids not to get in the car with strangers. But Turn, tell them large Marge sent you. <laughs> oh, cool! Where is he? Oh my gosh, turn around! Look how fun it looks! It's like a putt-putt course or something? Um, I said the thing about getting in a car with strangers, it teaches kids not to, but then again, <laughs> the one guy was nice that he got in the car with. <laughs> it's a guess that doesn't. <laughs> he was a criminal. Hey, why are there Large dinosaurs Marge out me. Oh my gosh! Why did he say that? No. Oh god. I know she said to, but... Oh, they're going to be nice or something. That's possible. Large Marge. She's been dead for 25 years. <laughs> I just made up a random. Ten years ago. Oh. A night just like tonight. Tonight's the anniversary. They all do this to mess with people in the town or something. Didn't I ever see? Marge I was riding with was yeah yeah it's a joke they do <laughs> maybe not <laughs> don't you mind them they're just superstitious oh my gosh it really was her ghost what is going on Pee Wee, you're just a very in tune with gone. Oh my gosh, I'm... <laughs> I think he's so in tune. How much does he have to do to cover his tab? Jeez. I think you've worked off that tuna platter and milkshake. Thank you. Uh -huh. I keep saying things and they immediately like answer in the movie. I love it. And here's a little something extra. Oh, she's sweet. Before you go, will you come and watch the sunrise with me? Please. What? <laughs> Do you have any dreams? I'm all alone. I'm rolling a big donut and this snake wearing no, a vest. No, not that kind. <laughs> She really needed somebody to talk to, man. She found the first person and just like, man. My bike. 
My dream is to live in the city of eternal love. Paris, France. You'll get there, Simone. Aww. Well, Andy for one. Yep, that's Andy. The one who's... Yep. He's real jealous. Why would you... I bet if he knew how important it is to you, he'd change his mind. No, he won't. But... But what? Everyone I know has a big butt. Talk about your big butt. <laughs> so... Weird! That was the weirdest scene out of everything so far. Oh, okay. It's a museum. If, I, if it showed the sign, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see it. Why? I feel like I'm going crazy. Were they a different color? Whatever. Are the dinosaurs just a different color? Oh my gosh. Oh great, I'm seeing things. <laughs> nice! Oh my gosh, trains are fun! In a movie or something. Cool! It should be fun in this. I'm hopping on a train. I don't know. <laughs> that part was... Weird. Mm, all part of this big adventure. It's cool how many different elements they're combining into one movie as well. We've got claymation now. Care for sardine? <laughs> no, he said no. Oh my goodness. I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's what I would have done. Did he get his stuff? Oh well, oh no. Howdy partner, welcome to San Antonio, this is for Texas out. Good job, Pee Wee. I don't think his bike's gonna be there anymore. <laughs> Hold all questions until the end of the tour, okay? But I thank you. She has a huge mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so weird. Maybe it's used to his face is so little, and then it showed hers. Basement. Excuse me. Aren't we gonna see the basement? <laughs> There's no basement at the Alamo. <laughs> There's not even one? I was told, oh no, like, uh... I mean, it didn't look it, but like, I wish that, <laughs> I mean, I should have known that, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know, they could have had, like, had a building maybe next to that, like, that place, and then had a basement in it. I was hoping there was at least something for him to look. Oh. <sighs> I love you so much, baby. Now Thank you for being such a sweet dad. All aboard. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. She's fine. I'm on my <laughs> way to Paris. Okay, good. I wanted her to go to Paris. I didn't want her to stay with Pee Wee. <laughs> Which I knew she didn't want to, but... She was a little too much for me. Oh, that's my bus. The Alamo was built without a basement. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm as stupid as Pee Wee. I'm kidding. I know you're gonna find your bike. Aww. She she has a different energy now that she's happier too. Man, no, I don't like her. Let's stick around. <laughs> I just know you're gonna find your bike. Au revoir. Au revoir. Okay, no. Yeah, let's let her go to Paris. She's great, but go to Paris, Simone. Aw, she's she'll be great there. I am happy for her. 
I'm really happy for her. I'm proud of her. <laughs> My grandma. Hello, Dottie. Hey. It's me, Pee Wee. Well, where are you calling from? Proven. The stars at night are big and bright. Big and bright. I didn't mean what I said, Dottie. Honest. I know you didn't. Speck! Uh, I know. I know. Uh, I forgot. All right, Speck. All right, Speck. All right, Speck. Put Dottie back on. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that. We are back. We can settle up at the drive-in. What? <sighs> what? <sighs> I couldn't hear that last part. Pee-wee. She's great. She, like, works on bikes. You love bikes. She's really kind. She likes you. Missed it by five minutes. Fine. Hmm. My God, he may be going for a world record. I know. I'm like, that's way longer than eight seconds, right? I should have been counting. No. I like the zoom in. Love it. <laughs> that worked out really well. That was some fancy ride. Pee Where are you from? I can't remember. Um. Can't you remember anything? I remember his bike. Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was perfect. I'm trying to use the phone! <laughs> For some reason, I thought they were all gonna, like, be nice. I can't believe he talked to them like that. Did anybody tell you that this is the private club of the Satan's helpers? Nobody hit me to that, dude. Excuse me. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Please run. Please run. Wait, tell them somebody stole your bike. Don't I get a last request? What? What? I'm not gonna be able to put a lot of this on YouTube. I've copyright, but also. <laughs> 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 he solved the problem with dance. Thanks a lot, dudes. Check. I hope you find your bike. The best. Oh, it's a vest. Oh, they do know. He told them. Oh my gosh, they actually give him that? Cool. I like them. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that was good cuts. <laughs> like <laughs> him to hitting it to the ambulance to the hospital bed. Oh, another dream. Kiwi in his dreams. I love the colors again. I would love to have some kind of sign or something or poster with those kind of colors. I want to think of it. Oh, oh, I'm not a clown person. Oh.
it's insane the amount of uh, props they have for the sets in this movie. Style star Kevin Morton at Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood, California. Bike like this is every boy's dream. Did this really happen? It had to have. That had to have really happened. They didn't film that for. Or maybe they filmed it just for the movie. So that's the kid, um. What? Dang it, what show was that kid on? Not, uh. Wonder. The Wonder Years? Excuse me! Could you tell me where I could find Kevin Morton? Uh, gee, I don't know. Uh, Marlo, do you know what stage Kevin Morton is working on? Yeah, it's uh, stage six. Thanks! <laughs> Mother Superior. Goodbye, Rusty, and God bless you. Thank you, Mother Superior. My gosh, what's he gonna do? No, Rusty. You sold a lot of magazine subscriptions to earn that bike. Just oh, wait. I'm going to start a paper route right now. Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay, cool. Just go. You got your bike. Oh. Oh, she could have gone underneath them. Jeez! He's like, this is my bike! Oh, cool. I wish it had the little thing sprout out of it, too. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> they must have come out of it. My gosh. They had so many different sets in this movie, like already even before they were at the studio part, and now like it's just Hey Christmas! <laughs> nice ET moment. Why is the pet shop on fire? Why is there a brand of pet shop on fire? What a mess! Come on! You can help me! Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Move in an orderly fashion towards the front exit. <laughs> Sit! Stay! Hey, you better help them too. Oh, I'm slipping. Nobody's come to help either. Okay, I hear them finally. <laughs> Look at all the pets. Look at all the animals. Snake, it just actually those are real snakes. Bro, this boy is under arrest. I know they're not gonna hurt him, but what? Oh. <laughs> He's a hero. It looks great. Maybe they'll like it. I can explain everything, Mr. Hawthorne. Warner Brothers thinks your story would make a fantastic movie. Okay. My bike! 
right. Pee-wee. <laughs> oh, really, Pee-wee? Oh, my gosh. So? <laughs> we have Deal. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Chili dog, Terry. See the actual Warner Brothers guy? There was. Oh my gosh, he's written like everybody he knows. Milton, boys, this is Pee Wee. <laughs> like James Bond? Oh my gosh. Either, Dottie. The X1 needs to cool down. I recognize her. I don't know. He looks kind of familiar. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Is he supposed to be like just a look like of, of Sean Connery? <laughs> Mickey! One soda. One foot long. Hold it. What did he put in there? Pee wee! Oh my gosh, what in the world? <laughs> He's one of my favorite people that he met. That's funny. And I like Dottie. And Speck. Oh my gosh! Have you got any messages for room 104? Oh, they put him in the movie. Nothing right now, Mr. Herman. I'll be in the bar. Oh, wait. Who's that? That's fantastic, Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> C'est magnifique. Right there. Yeah. Bonsoir. Ditto. Ditto. That's right. Beaucoup, Pee Wee. Merci, Papa. <laughs> Big scenes coming up, you guys. Such a pushover. I know you are. But what am I? Oh my gosh, I commented on that part being cringe earlier. That's that actually brought it back and made it funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was his big part. How's the X1? It's cool down, but I'm heated up. Candy PW. <gasps> Forgot. No, you didn't. <laughs> Pee Wee. Did you become Blood Brother? Oh, I don't. Spinning <gasps> uh... wheels. Pee Wee. Oh, then it's okay if I sit on it, right, Pee Wee? No, Francis. Huh. Okay. <laughs> What's he gonna do? <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's not Burt Reynolds. Who is he? Oh. <gasps> A guy like me? I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. I'm so sorry, guys, that I can't. I don't. I'm. Let's go. I don't know. See the rest of the movie? I don't have to see it, Dottie. I lived it. I lived it. <laughs> yep. So Pee Wee's way more of a rebel than I actually thought he would be. <laughs> Special appearances. James Brolin. James Brolin. And Morgan Fairchild. Well, James Brolin, I, that's who it says it is. I don't. Nowhere else I've seen him, but you know, it was just to look like. Okay. Oh. All right, guys, that was Pee Wee's Big Adventure from 1985. And yeah, he definitely went on an adventure. I was not expecting Pee Wee to be like the kind of rebel that he was. <laughs> he definitely had moments that surprised me. And overall, yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. And it was an easy watch. There were some slow moments for me, and I'll get to those in a moment, um, but overall, it was like a super easy watch, and just with unexpected parts.
parts throughout the whole thing. And then I loved how visually how it looked the entire thing from beginning to end. It was so visually pleasing and the creativity that went into a lot of the movie was definitely my favorite part. And just all the objects from his house. Like I wanted to, I would, oh my gosh, I wanted to be in that house. Like I said at the beginning, I cannot imagine if I was a kid and watched that. That alone would have been enough to get me hooked into the whole movie. And all the stuff he owned, I would want to own all of that. Just the different proportions they had to everything. Like how things were like giant that shouldn't have been. That was a really fun aspect of it. I can't imagine how it would have been if I'd have seen it when this first came out which i wasn't born when it first came out but it's again <laughs> was al almost not that far off he is he it really is in a way he's different definitely different from buddy the elf but in a way he is kind of the original buddy the elf kind of like a like a man child he has his own stuff and he obviously like takes care of himself and all that and like he's a complete he's a complete adult but at the same time like just like very childlike a childlike adult um and that way he reminded me of like buddy it's great that they have all the people in his life were kind to him and then even the people he ran into that had the issues they ended up he ended up being friends with them which is good you can tell definitely that this movie was directed towards kids it was definitely worth watching um <laughs> the moments uh with i love Dottie. she was great she was great for him i'm glad they ended up together but the moments with um, Speck, like the dog, were some of my favorite parts. And when he was talking to the dog on the phone, <laughs> just his personality in general was my second favorite part of the movie. So yes, my first favorite part of the movie was just how it looked and the creativity of everything. Like Tim Burton did great and did the music was great with it too, that combined. But then my second favorite part of the movie was just, of course, like um, Pee Wee himself and his personality because it... Like I said, it was not, he does not have a one track personality, personality like I thought he was going to. I thought he was just going to be, no, he, <laughs> he had some, <laughs> Pee Wee has some darkness to him. <laughs> he tried to slip that in the hot dog at the end to that guy, to, what's in his name, Mike? Oh gosh, I'm so horrible with names. But that's great. Oh. Um, he met some good people along the way, including the, the criminal, what's his name, Mike? And um, the French woman who she ended up, I'm glad she went well, but yeah, the, so the slow parts just kind of when he was going, the traveling parts and the dream parts, but they, I like the dreams though, because they did a lot of creativity in those as well. I'm happy I can, I know I, like, it's cool now that I know about Pee Wee Herman and what his personality is. Oh my gosh, Francis. Oh my on him he's horrible i'm glad Pee Wee had his snarky moments with them so that was great visually i wonder who did all the i mean i know who obviously directed it and who did the music i didn't see look and see who did like the art department and the props that was such a big part of the movie and my, like i said my favorite part of the movie i didn't even look to see who did it all right guys yep that was Pee Wee's big adventure i went on an adventure with Pee Wee. i'm so happy he got his bike back i want that bike yeah, I want his bike. I want all the stuff in his house. I want to go live in his house for a little while. And then besides like his goofiness and his like darkness and snarkiness, he overall did just have a, he does have a genuinely just kind spirit. And I like that that kind of wherever he went, whoever he met, he, he shared that with everybody that he came into contact with and he left a good influence on him. Which is good, and it's a gr it's a really good movie for kids to watch. It again, <laughs> but at the same time, like there's there's great moments in there for adults. So, yeah, cool. All right, guys, thanks again for being here. Yeah, let me know when was the first time you saw this movie, and were you a kid when you watched it, or an adult like me? And what were your favorite parts of the movie? And do you like to invent stuff to? Uh, do you like to invent stuff as well? And do you like all the stuff in his house? I hope you enjoyed the adventure of me watching Pee Wee's Adventure. So that was fun. And I will see you guys next time. Boo and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.